What's good, my powerful people? Back at y'all another video. And before we hop into the topic, make sure you drop a sub down below, drop a like on the video, and follow me on all my socials. Links gonna be in the description. Now today we're gonna talk about what happens when you're a powerful man. The, th the types of things that that's just gonna happen in your everyday life. The daily life of just being a powerful man. A powerful is subjective, so essentially I'm kind of speaking from my perspective, but at the same time, it's like, this is just from my perspective. So you can experience different things. If you know you're a powerful person, then you can just literally say the same things and you just gonna understand what I'm saying is gonna resonate with you. But essentially, if you haven't really tapped into your power yet, because you may not know that you've got power within you, you might be insecure, whatever the case may be, look, 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 look. You gotta let all that go, bro. You a grown man at the end of the day. If you're watching this video, you are a grown man. It don't matter if you're in school, it don't matter. You are a grown man. So essentially it's this. When you are a powerful person, bro, a powerful man, your presence is gonna be felt by everybody that you come in contact with. So essentially, when you walking into the room, bro, you gonna light up the room. Like I told y'all, my purpose, when I go around people, I'm just a positive energy of light. So essentially, my presence is felt when I go around people. And to further talk on that point, especially my presence is felt when I just shed light or basically expand my mind or just open my mind to people. Not even really just in great detail, just simple conversation. People are gonna feel my presence. People are gonna listen to what I got to say. It's just, it's just how I carry myself. Just to look in my eyes, it's just the way my mind's set up. It's just powerful. Like I understand that I'm a powerful person. So I just carry myself with that understanding. I'm not walking around, you know what I'm saying? Timid and insecure and like scared to, to speak up for myself or just scared to say something. It just because none of that essentially as a man, none of that really just makes sense. Like, what do you get out of doing any of that? But essentially, like, you have to have just a certain mindset, you have to have a certain awareness. You got to really just know who you are. Because if you're worried about the next person, or you're trying to be like somebody else, or you're a people pleaser, etc., all these weak character, weak simp characteristics, then you're not gonna really understand that you're tapping to your own power. Because essentially, we all got power within us. But when you become aware of who you are, you will be aware of the powers within you. And now, so when you know who you are and you're aware of the powers that's within you, you will never even think about trying to be like the next person because you'll be more so focused on how can I increase this power that's within me? Like, how can I become a more powerful person? Like, what do I need to do to just exert more power? Like, how can my presence be felt when I go around people? Like... How do I need to care of myself? What do I need to do in my life to just make women just flock to me and just view me as an irresistible man? Because it seems that that's also another benefit. Like the way women view you and how they just look up to you in a sense. The same thing with men too. Men go respect you and become inspired by you as well. So it's just coming to you advice, for advice and things like that. It's just you know who you are and you just carry yourself accordingly. A lot of men are walking around here insecure with limits and beliefs no purpose, no discipline, no consistency, no real direction in life. And then so they're, they're living lives as th that are a reflection of that. When you don't know who you are, bro, you will be doing a little bit of everything, but you ain't really going nowhere. AKA you're gonna be on this hamster wheel. You gotta get off this hamster wheel. Chasing external pleasures and things of that nature, you gotta really feel, figure out who you are by going within yourself Letting go of the, the limits and beliefs, letting go of the the things that have been Im impressed upon you into your mindset that just cause you to live a certain way. Because you're not living how you want to be living. If you're not accepting yourself as you are and constantly improving yourself internally and externally, you're not going to be a powerful person. You're not going to be able to step into your power. If you're not constantly looking for ways to improve your life, surrounding yourself with other powerful people, how can you achieve the higher things in life? How can you really just motive? How could you even be motivated? How could you be self-motivated? If you live a weak life, nothing you have nothing exciting about your life. You just you just everything about you is just average and basic. How on earth are you gonna be self-motivated to just really go after what you really want in your life? You scared of what other people think, you scared to make decisions, you scared to speak up for yourself, you scared to do what you really want to do, you scared to say how you feel. You're scared to put yourself first and you are a grown man. So essentially, you taking power away from yourself and you letting external things take power away from you. Why though? 
why though you gotta wake up like literally wake up because bro times is changing it's an energy shift in the in the universe it's energy shifts the the matrix is cracking a little bit understand this because it cracked a little bit with andrew tate when he kind of just start speaking his messages and then he blew up all over the place and then they banned him that's how you know the matrix is cracking because why did, why did they have to ban him for the things that he said and now essentially they trying to do the same thing with kanye for a little slightly different reasons but at the same time it's just essentially he's just speaking his truth so essentially you got to ask yourself who is benefiting from silencing these people who is benefiting from taking these people accounts the bank ban, you know what I'm saying? JP Morgan banning Kanye. And I seen a video that said um, JP Morgan and Chase Bank, they funded Epstein. But you, so you gotta really just ask yourself, and then it's like these estates, these corporations, these federal institutes, you don't know who is running these things. You don't know the mindset and the intention behind these people, the types of things that these people are funding. Understand that. So essentially, a lot of people are just lost. A lot of people don't know what's going on. But what I'm telling you is this. We live in a society where everything is a tool to take power away from you. Everything is a tool to be distracted. Everything is just propaganda. Everything is just manipulation. To just keep you asleep, to just keep you a slave. You have to resist all of that programming. You have to implement your own programs into your subconscious mind. So through your habits, through the things that you are memorizing, through the things that you are emotionalizing. So you can allow certain thought patterns to be implemented into your mindset. Because we're not our thoughts, but based upon what you're focusing on so heavily and what you're emotionalizing so heavily, certain thought patterns just appear into your mind. And then it's like, it's, con you, it's a conscious decision, bro. To do the right thing, it's a conscious decision to do the wrong thing. It's a conscious decision to limit yourself. It's a conscious decision to say, I'll quit. It's a conscious decision to say, I'm going to be weak. It's a conscious decision to say, I'm a simp. Or it's a, con it's a conscious decision to be a simp. It's a conscious decision to be sleep. You got to wake yourself up. You got to tap into your power because you will attract all the things that you need when you step into your power, when you know who you are, when you understand that you already have everything that you need. So anything that you're seeking externally, you don't need it. But the perspective should be anything that you want external, you still good, you good with it without it. It's internal peace. So the external things of life just add on to your happiness, just add on to who you are as a man. But first and foremost, you gotta know who you are. A lot of, why do y'all neglect shadow work? You as a grown man, you as anybody, it don't matter. How can you not be alone? First things first, as a man, bro, you must have a monk mode phase or a solitude phase where it's just you, your thoughts, and your goals and the destination that you're trying to reach, the journey that you're walking on, the path that you want. This Every man needs this because as a man, bro, if you feel like you always got to be around somebody, especially a woman, something, something, or you feel like you just can't live without her, some, something is going on. Like, why is it that you can't sit in silence with yourself and just be at peace? Why are you uncomfortable? Because you don't know who you are, because you have insecurities, because of your, how your mindset is set up. It's just so negative. And you don't want to be around it. It's cool. You have you have escape methods. So some of y'all, you know what I'm saying? You might be smoking all the time or you might just be spending too much money just to you have coping me mechanisms to escape reality. As a grown man, you're going to dig yourself in a deeper hole. Every time you're trying to escape reality, you're digging yourself in a deeper hole. Every single time that you're self, you self imposing limitations on yourself, you're digging yourself in a deeper hole. Going where? To the freaking bottom. To your lowest self. Understand this. But on the flip side of that, you could live a highly productive life. You could be a disciplined individual. You could be in your own lane. And you could just be attracting the thing that you want because you live a certain way because you carry yourself a certain way. So it's not gonna be as difficult to attract the thing that you want. When you a simp, it's hard for you to attract the woman that you want. Or when you insecure, it's hard for you to attract the woman that you want because you can't even talk to her without stuttering. You can't even look her in the eyes. And you are a grown man. Understand this. It's hard to just stay consistent in the gym 
because you don't want it bad enough. You might work out a week here, a week here, and then it's just like you just fall out. You don't, because you don't have no real direction. Every man needs direction and purpose in his life because we are continuously evolving beings. So therefore, we are always striving for more. When you are a powerful man, bro, everything that you do is purposeful. Everything that you do is with divine intent. So therefore, it's certain things that you just don't do. Certain people that you can't be around. Certain decisions that you just simply cannot make because you have the control. A lot of y'all just do stuff and then you act as if you ain't in control. You act like you have no self-control. That'd be a lot of y'all problem. But like I was saying with the solitude thing, this is where you cultivate your power. This is where you increase your power and harness it because as a man, bro, you gotta have real brute force energy that you can exert at any given moment. So it's like, well, you might be you might be lacking motivation or you might be feeling a little down, but it's like at the end of the day, you gotta pick yourself up because bro, nobody nobody out here is just, come on, you got you a man. Like at the end of the day, everybody not gonna, there's nobody just out here just picking you up. Understand this, bro. There's nobody out here just worried about your mindset like that and your mental health like that. So it has to be you. You have to be responsible for taking care of yourself because you are a man. So you have to go within yourself and cultivate your own energy through the depths of the shadow work and releasing these things that no longer serve you. Letting go of these toxic relationships. Letting go of these toxic habits. Letting go of these toxic memories, the, the mental programming. Letting go of the slave mind. But it doesn't happen overnight, bro. It doesn't happen by you being on a hamster wheel. It doesn't happen by you being a simp. It doesn't happen by you being blue pill. It doesn't happen by you just being so gullible and easily manipulated. It comes through having a purpose. But you ain't gonna never figure out this purpose until you figure out who you truly are. Figuring out who you truly are is, is gonna show you a purpose. Get out and get you some sunlight, bro. Get out and get you some sunlight. Do some research about yourself. Learn more about yourself. That's what you need to do. Like, why are you the way that you are? Why are you here? What is it that you want to accomplish within your life? Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? What do you see yourself next year? What do you see yourself next month? Like these types of things. You know, why do you not think about this? Why is it that you just do the same thing every single day with no real direction though? Like, do you not have any extraordinary goals about life? Do you really like being average? Do you really like working paycheck to paycheck? Do you really like five sixes and sevens do you really like getting cheated on do you really like getting yelled at disrespected you understand what i'm saying by a woman and then she got you by the ball so you just deal with it because you know that you can't get better or you feel like you can't get better but i mean essentially if you feel like you can't then you can't if you feel like you can't do something then honestly you really can't but if you have a mindset of abundance where you feel like you can do anything and you feel like you can just attract any woman life is gonna be way better but a lot of y'all just self-sabotage just self-destruct for no reason cultivate the power within you when you are a powerful man bro blessings just uh, uh, blessings upon blessings just are bestowed upon you understand as you light up the room people want to hear what you got to say women just flock to you and it's just like they just see you as just irresistible bro don't you want that don't you want that like this is how you attract the opportunities by stepping into your life, stepping into your power, realizing who you are and just not letting anybody else take that away from you. Who cares what these people are saying, bro? Understand nobody is going to, nobody. You have to have the mindset that can't nobody walk a mile in your shoes. Can't nobody do nothing like you. Ain't nobody going to be like you. That's the mindset that I have. I'm one of a kind, bro. I'm a freaking guy. You have to have this mindset. It ain't nobody like me, bro. So this is how you have to operate out of your life because you have to know that you are powerful. Do you think that I would have this channel if I care what other people think? No. Do you think I would start a clothing brand if I care what other people think? No. What the heck? Why would I care what somebody else think if they not doing what I'm doing or if they're not? So why would I care what a hater has to say about me? Understand this, bro. You are constantly climbing up this ladder or climbing up this mountain but and it's just you in the mountain bro but through the depths of your destructive mentality you are manifesting things that are literally just tugging at you just trying to pull you down tugging at you trying to pull you down the negative people that you're dealing with so they negative energy they negative thoughts and all this all this negativity is kind of 
present and flowing all in your consciousness, flowing in your reality, so now it's pulling you down. You pulling yourself down because you don't even think that you can get up to the top of the mountain. You don't even you don't even believe in yourself to achieve your dreams. You might not even have dreams. Everybody not gonna make it. Everybody doesn't want to live an extraordinary life. As you can see, this is why these people are called monopolies, the elites, the ten percenters, the one percenters. Only a certain caliber of man is gonna make it to the top. Doubting yourself ain't gonna get you where you want to be. Letting other people tear you down and gonna get you where you want to be being distracted ain't gonna get you where you want to be being weak giving power away ain't gonna get you to where you want to be but directing all this energy and power inward so because that's where the source of it comes from and then you and expressing it outwardly that's what you have to do solitude during solitude you go within yourself do the shadow work you go through a dark night of the soul and this is gonna cause you to release trauma release baggage Really just see who you are. Really just tap into the depths of your mindset. This will put you through a spiritual awakening. Doing research also. These things will put you through a spiritual awakening. So now it's like you're stepping into a new light. So you have new habits. Understand this, bro. Before I was sun gazing. Before I really just started working out and things of that nature. Really just got serious about what I wanted out of life. Really got in tune with who I am as a person. I didn't have the same confidence that I have now. I wouldn't be doing the things that I'm doing now. I would not be in the same position. I would be in a lower state. I wouldn't be operating out of a much, much higher frequency. Understand this, bro, because this is essentially what I'm saying. You got to stand out because when you walk in a room, you can just tell that it's just a certain energy in the room. But then once you walk into it, the energy levels increase because of who you are, because of how you're carrying yourself. But you ain't going to really be able to just understand this until... You figure out who you are and you experience it for yourself. So you gotta go within. The solitude is gonna bring you to the bring you inward. Solitude brings you inward. So therefore you can really just cultivate this energy and increase this energy and strengthen this energy. AKA you in solitude, bro, you're training. You might be working out. Training, strengthening your mind. Your mind is a muscle. Same way you work out is the same way you need to be acquiring knowledge, the same way you need to be reprogramming your mind and putting programs, positive programs into your subconscious mind. So AKA, you're listening to positive affirmations when you're going to sleep. You're waking up and you're going to sleep thinking about what you want and thinking about it in terms of you already having it, thinking about it in terms of you being able to do what you want to do because these things are empowering you. Not focusing on nobody else, you gotta be in your own lane, but you have to be serious about this. It can't, you can't be a front, it can't be for three months. It has to be consistent every single day because the second you fall off, it's gonna be much, it's gonna be much har harder for you to pull yourself back up. That's what a lot of y'all don't understand. Cause a lot of people came across, and me included, you know what I'm saying? Cause temptation, temptation is terrible. But at the same time, it's a lot of people who just simply fall off. Like a lot of people who in 2020 or whatever, when, when there was a mass awakening in the consciousness, a lot of people just fell back to their lower self current current day. Today, in today's society, a lot of people just fell back. A lot of people didn't make it. A lot of people are going back to their old self. A lot of people ain't focusing on the right things that they need to be focusing on. A lot of people just giving their power away. A lot of people are just falling short. Because understand this, what I've been hearing, bro, and what I, and what I didn't realize this, because back in 2020, I didn't really realize this. I've, I've came a long way I've, in the past two years. I've learned a lot. But because essentially my mindset was in a, in, in a scarce mentality and things of that nature during COVID and stuff like that because for one, furlough, I got furloughed from my job, so it's like I wasn't even working. And it just seemed, and it just, the, the energy within the universe is, it was just so negative, it's so depressing, everybody's walking around with masks, everybody just trapped inside their own house. You know what I'm saying? But the people who understand things, the elites of the world, the, 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 the one percenters of the world, they making bank. They're making bank. They're making bank. More millionaires were made in 2020. I don't, I don't know no exact term, but it's like, bro. A lot of people have came up when it seems like the whole world was in shambles. How is that the case? But it's like it's only a certain caliber of people, only a certain amount of people did this. A lot of people ain't make it. A lot of people just let the fear just stop them. A lot, a lot of people just let the fear take them out. And it's hard for you to bounce back, especially because if you're building yourself up, you're building up these principles, you, you know what I'm saying? You're improving in your life. More tests are going to come around you because you're a stronger person now, so the tests are going to become stronger. 
So therefore, you got to just constantly improve. You can't just keep doing the same thing every single day with no improvement, with nothing else that you're working towards. Because essentially, one of these tests, you're going to fail. Or one of these tests, one of these little easy tests, you're going to say, oh, one won't hurt. Or I'll do it tomorrow. And then, it, then it's just going to pick up off that. You got to remember who you are. A lot of us let one little circumstance, let one little thing, let one little loss totally just cause chaos in our whole life for way too long and it makes us forget who we are. The power has been in you since birth. The power has been in you since birth, but we weren't taught about this. We ain't taught nowhere in school, no class you're gonna take is gonna teach you about the powers of yourself, the powers of your own mind. It's for a reason, bro. But understand this, I'm gonna tell you so all you gotta do is apply it because I want you to be experiencing your best self. I want you to be reaping all the benefits and the blessings by you doing what you have to do, by you knowing who you are as a man. So you can carry yourself a certain way. So when you walk into the room, you light it up. So when she looking at you, she's just like looking at you like a god. You understand what I'm saying? So you have the, the utmost confidence to do whatever you want, to go after whatever you want. No questions asked, regardless of who's supporting you. Because understand this, bro. As a man, certain, certain times you're going to have to learn how to just stand alone. This is why I say, if you can't be by yourself, you will not survive. If you ain't carrying yourself a certain way, you will not survive. So essentially, you got to do what it takes every single day. You got to do the inner work. So many people just avoid the inner work. They so focused on all this external change, but they can never look with inside. They can never look inside of themselves. And that's where all the answers lie. That's where all the power is. So you have to remember this. So you have to become aware of this by going within. Simple. Go within. Do your own research. Figure out things about yourself so you can figure out ways to improve yourself. Understand that self-awareness shows you where you're lacking. That shows your weaknesses. Be real with yourself and understand that you might be lacking in a certain department in your life. It might be physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. It doesn't really matter. But when you be real with yourself, you're going to be able to be aware of it. And it's like, I don't like this or I'm lacking in this area. So what can I do to fix it? And then you start doing that. You start working on that. But a lot of people, they don't even want to... They feel like they perfect. They feel like they can't make no mistakes. Living in la-la land. A lot of people ain't accountable for their action. A lot of people ain't just disciplined enough. A lot of people don't want it bad enough. A lot of people just stop themselves from doing what they need to do because of their own mind. A lot of people in their own way. So you got to just get out your own way and do what needs to be done every single day. Because understand this, bro. We are all powerful conscious beings. But at the same time, bro. Certain people are just meant to be robots. Certain people are just meant to be NPCs. Certain people are just meant to stay in the matrix. But do you really want to be one of these people? No, I refuse to be one. I refuse to be one because I understand. You understand what I'm talking about. You understand the depths of my mind. So therefore, I know the depths of my mind and the power within me is not going to allow me to be an average person. I don't see myself as an average person. I'm a God. And you have to see yourself the same way because how you see yourself and how you out, if you out, if you see yourself as a God and you hourly express this, People have no choice but to see you as a God and treat you like a God because anything else you're not going to accept. So therefore, if you know that you are a God, you have God-like capabilities, God-like powers, and you are just a conscious eternal being, why on earth would you settle for an average life? Why on earth would you settle for an average life when you have the option to be a God, when you have the option to live the life that you have dreamed about? Let it sink in. But it's, oh, it's too hard, it's too difficult, it's going to take too long. I mean, you can be a weak little girl all you want to, but me, I'm going to put in the work and I'm going to reap all the benefits. I'm going to continue to be real with myself so I can just stay on top of my game. I'm going to stay disciplined and consistent because I know what's coming and I know what I'm working towards. So I'm, And I'm going to stay in my own lane because I'm not worried about what the next man got going on. I'm not worried about any of that. I'm not worried about the negativity. I'm not limiting myself mentally. I'm empowering myself mentally, telling myself that I can and I will do the things that I want to do. And it ain't nothing that can stop me. And so life is going to treat you how you treat yourself. So life is just throwing, throwing blessings at me, throwing opportunities at me left and right because if I'm my mindset up because of how I carry myself. Understand this, bro. The power is in your hands. You got to just wake up and use it. Simple. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out.